Otto Malera really know what they're doing. Just quickly, um, Otto Malera doing the turret design, and there's a reason why, and for those on the live feed, I've got a naval gun, the 76. Um, it is, um, at the moment, I believe, the most produced turret and gun in the world. There's over a 1,000 in service. Otto Malera really know what they're doing. Every Navy in the world that has a choice, <clears throat> if they're aiming for something in the 76 mil range, which is a little light, um, yeah, it's around three inches for naval armament, so for fr smallish frigates and corvettes and the like, they just go straight to Otto Malera. They don't mess around with thinking about anyone else. So I, I can, I'm going to infer from that that it's pretty good. Either that or they pay amazing bribes. Um, <laughs> it's good may, Maybe a bit of both. It's good, good enough that everyone goes with it. But the problem you've got is saying, oh, well, you know, they make turrets for ships. Why can't they make turrets for tanks? Is that, you know, the turret on a ship is a tiny part of the system and the turret on a tank is almost the whole ship. Mm. Certainly, the, the superstructure, the whole superstructure of the ship. Uh, so there, there is a bit of an issue that there, a, a tank turret is a much more complicated thing than a, um, you know, the the naval gun on a corvette. Um, and I, I think that might have fed into some of the problems that they've um, had with uh, this design, and that they didn't know quite as much as they might have thought they did.